Dear grandson, I was very pleased with your agreement to take care of my little house. It would be a great waste if it stood empty after I moved to your mom's. There was a bit of figuring things out, but it turned out well in the end. I never told you this, but your beloved grandfather built it with his own hands many, many years ago. Back then we were young and so beautiful. Henry was always sparing with words throughout his life and didn't boast about his accomplishments, although he had plenty. Unfortunately, in some rooms, the moving crew left a few old things that I couldn't take with me. I apologize sincerely, but I didn't have the health to continue cleaning. In the basement, I left your first unfinished model, yours and grandpa's. Perhaps you would like to finish it to close what you both created together. Wishing you good health, Grandma. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to Train Yard Builder. Now this will be released as of the 16th of September 2024. Big thank you to Frozen Way Player Way for allowing us early access to showcase the game early to you guys. Um, so yeah, I don't know why the voices were so low there. So basically, if you don't know, we get to enter the world of Train Yard Builder, customize your railway to your heart's content, work with different models and trains and wagons, control them in the way that you want, use the modeling tools to unleash your creativity. Now something I'm not very good at, but we're going to give it a go. I do love my trains. I used to love Love my model trains when I was younger. Okay, so welcome to Train Yard Builder. The tutorial introduces you to all the mechanics necessary to create a model railway. Use WSAD to move around and press E to interact. Okay, so I just changed some of the volumes. For some reason, the default settings were very low for the sounds. I don't know why. This looks great. Something that I wish I would have built when I was younger. If I had the space, you know, I used to have my own kind of like little little tracks and a few little bits. Okay, approach the model railway layout. WSAD the camera around the table, which is simple enough, right? We zoom in, zoom out. Uh, hold the button to move the cursor to change the angles. Again, buttons are quite self-explanatory, right? Up and down to zoom in and out. Uh, inventory at the bottom of the screen. This is where you keep all your purchased and collected models. Press the inventory button to expand it. Okay, use the mouse scroll over the inventory to scroll the item select. That's easy enough. Press the lay on the tracks. Again, easy enough. You can also rotate selected by using Q and E and to finish your route. Okay. So it wants us to lay a piece of track. We must be missing some track here. It moved me over to this area for some reason. Ah, here it is. So you can see uh, you can see where we are missing a little bit. Okay, then obviously we're going to need the little pieces. Perfect. There are multiple tools that will aid you in your building your layout. Remove an object, press the bulldozer icon or press B. Okay, so B is the shortcut key. You may also choose to add more existing items. Click on the pipette icon, uh, H, which is auto select. I'll try to remember that. Snapping the grid, click to snap the grid, press V to enable that. Okay, that could be kind of handy later on. There are even more complex tools which are necessary at the moment. These will be covered individually once you trigger the relevant options. Yeah, that sounds good to me, right? So what does it want me to do? Remove nine rails. So, uh, B for bulldozer. One, two. Right. Press escape to leave the train table. Your grandfather's old PC stands in the corner. You can use the purchase to sell models, submit your layout exhibitions, receive tasks, and manage layout tables in your house. Okay. This is where everything is going to be done by. So once it's going to the shop, the shop is divided into multiple categories. Within each category, you can see what are currently available for purchases. Each model is displayed in its own panel. Adjust the amount of value prior to the purchase. Then press buy. Purchase items will be replacing inventory. However, some items will need to be unpacked first. Okay, so it wants us to get some track. So it wants us to get two short straight track. One shortest. And one large curve. And in the buildings, two camper trailers. Bloody expensive. I mean, modeling is expensive anyways. It's also possible to use the store to sell XF railway models, adjust the amount of copies of an item. Okay, so that's good. Scroll down the track categories and sell the following models. Three, short track curve. All right. And we're going back to the table by looks of things. Okay, so the longest curve, it wants it to go there. 
Then it's going to be... I would have thought the shortest would have gone there, but apparently not. Oh, we've got to fill in that one there first. Okay, that's fine. That's what it needs us to do. Perfect. One shorter straight track. Okay, it doesn't quite touch. Look like it had. And then it wants our two camper vans. They just want to be placed anywhere. Okay, so this is snapping to grid, which was V. No. Left shift for small rotation. And then if I press E. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. I wanted it somewhere kind of nice. I suppose we could make it just kind of like a caravan park though, right? On the middle of the road, I just noticed. Place the locomotive on the tracks in order to create the train. Select the locomotive in the unit tree and place it straight on a piece of track. You may attach the train cars to your train. All right, well, where's the station? We've got to start the station, right? Okay, we do have a new email. Okay, to my concern, with great pleasure, I would like to announce the commencement of this year's Model Railway Exhibitions. Due to significant interest in the influx of numerous new members of our highly esteemed association, we have recognised we need to divide our annual train yard expo into small exhibitions. The rules for scoring have also undergone a change, and model interested in competing for the first place will not have to adhere to the guidelines specified in the main theme of each exhibition. We hope these improvements will facilitate our new companions in keeping pace with our high standards with ex expedite the procedures related in awarding layouts at our expeditions. Man, sometimes people just overthink these emails, right? Um, okay, exit. Exhibitions tab. Participating in exhibitions can be a lucrative way to earn cash through an event ticket. Let's send off your grandpa's layout and make some space in the garage. Don't worry, you'll see it again soon. Okay, so we can join. Okay, so it has all these things, right? Okay, good job. Exhibition mode as well as table management are now fully unlocked on the PC menu. So we've got table management. Table management allows you to purchase layout tables. We'll save and load existing layouts now when you have some spare space in the garage. Purchase several tables. Use WSAD to suit spot on the table and press place table. Purchase it and you can position multiple smaller tables next to each other. Okay. Let's go and check out your grandfather's layout of the museum. Approach the front door and go to the museum. Okay, so we're leaving that. Okay, so this is the museum. It'll become much more important later on once you start working on the Grand Expedition. Okay, so here we go. This is where it is. Admire the railway. The controller allows you to adjust the speed of the available trains by simply saying more. Okay, that's cool. So we've got the train here. We need the controller. Uh, interesting. Right. We'll just ignore that. Will the train just be going around? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, it's kind of cool, I suppose. Oh, they stop now. They kind of got all different kind of models and things here. This is pretty cool, isn't it? This concludes the basics tutorial. You'll get additional hints as you explore the house and interact with various objects. The room upstairs is used for exhibition tables and museum assignments, while Addict contains the sandbox mode, which allows you to play without any okay restrictions. That's cool. We do have a new email, though. Okay, hi there. We're driving into our first display that will take us away into the late 1990s in Japan. Just imagine it, the perfect blend of modern innovation and timeless tradition. Obviously, we're not expecting a one-to-one -one representation of the actual place. We'd like to be a more symbolic, but I'm sure you know how that too well. Well, we'll be featuring a Karazami 5000 train against the backdrop of Mount Fuji with all the imagery related to Japan surrounding the tracks and rails. Uh, we've got a list of must-have items attached, but apart from those, we're leaving the setup and extra touches entirely up to you. 
Okay, so this is telling me about the train. Um, okay, let's just accept this job. Right, we do need to buy a few things though, don't we? Okay, so this is the shop. Okay, so what do I need? Shortest straight track. Maybe it's best if I just do it this way. Short straight track one. The shortest straight track. Let's get a couple of these. Uh, two symmetrical turnouts. So, S Y M. Two railway bridge. Approach two. Bankment railway bridge approach two. Need two of them. Segment two. Railway bridge segment two and two B. Two and two. Okay, interesting. One curved railway bridge segment two. Uh, just says one of them. Okay, so that's all of those things, right? Is this thing upstairs or something? Workshop table. Okay, this must be where I need to be. Alright, so yeah, look, he, he, he's put down where he kind of wants things to be, I think. How do I... Uh, I need to put more tables down. Okay. Is this like a really small? Okay, so do I have all these things? I I I, I, I wouldn't even know. Uh, Sakura Tower. Okay, so you're giving me pretty much everything, right? Where does this tower live? The uh, Miri, oh, the Miri Tower. Okay. Uh, Harm, Onius Residency. Okay, they did give us two of these. So that's good. Uh, Takanomi Plaza. Okay, apartments. So it's kind of nice if they do give you some of the things that you need. I'm just assuming all these things actually need to go out. So why don't we just go down this line of whatever we got. Okay, Vista. I suppose if that's just everything that was in my inventory, we probably don't need anything, right? Okay, that looks like most of the buildings, at least. All right, let's see if we can work out this road. Oh, 
let me put the cross bit in. There we go. And then whichever one of these is next. There we go. Where are you going now? Here. Here. Yeah, there's eight pieces of this stuff. Yeah, not sure. One of you are going in there, though. Where the hell are you going? Under here? So you are. Okay, and then you... Do there. Okay, so there's one more piece of road missing here. I don't believe in spares. <laughs> there's definitely a piece of road here missing. Hmm. If there is, I really can't see. Ah, there it is, look. Okay, so two monuments. I'm assuming these are those things, right? I think some of them have certain places that they need to be. Okay, this is like uh, Times Square clock. See, some of these things, then they might not need to be in anywhere particular. Ah, uh, there we go, zoom in. Okay, so these are the, the the traffic signals. I found I need one on that side. Okay, so this doesn't seem like it can just go anywhere. So it's definitely going in a certain place. I just can't see where at the moment. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's down here. Look, all the stuff's down here. Okay, there goes the bins, the monument, and the 15 benches. Obviously, as time goes on, I'm assuming we will get a little bit more freedom and stuff. There's a couple of park benches missing. Any buildings need some benches? You tired of standing around all day? There we go. Oh, one awkward one on its own. Where are you going to be? There's always one. Always. Like a game of uh, Where's Wally? Where are we going to put my bench? Ah, there it is. Okay, so now it just needs the train. I mean... It looks alright. Not really much to do with us, but um Get a couple of screenshots, I'll share them on Discord maybe. Alright, let's head home. Right, where are we at? These are red. These are red and done. Models for engineering product, express love for trains, model making, assistance needed. How about we look at this? Hello, a former subway operator. I spent much of my life operating trains. My biggest passion, however, due to health limitation, I no longer have the ability to do such precise work. I would time for your help expressing it through model making. Your assistance would be greatly... Okay, let's have a look then. Oh. Painting table, expression love for train models, assistance needed. Huge station hull. Uh, where the hell do I buy these things?
Okay, so huge station. No, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five. I don't understand what these things mean, if I'm honest. At the moment, steel works. A class A3. Whenever you buy a new locomotive train and car for the first time, you can also get the opportunity to unpack it. Okay, well... Isn't she a beaut? Okay, painting table. We use a painting station to craft new color variants of your models. Select the model from your inventory and choose the material, the sliders. Okay. Once done selecting colors, you have two options. You can either create a new variant or apply it to existing. Okay. So, he wanted us to look at this train. First color he wants is... How do I know what these colors are, though? This is the problem, isn't it? One needs to be like a... Oh. Pick color, set color. It hasn't really taught me about painting yet. Oh, okay, so if I move these sliders. Uh, okay. Easy enough, isn't it? That's going too crazy. I thought I was going to have to paint the damn thing. In some ways, I kind of would like to have done, but... Very odd color, this thing. So we we don't just make we 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 sort out models for people as well, which is kind of nice. Um. Okay, so that's the passenger car done. I mean, it looks all right. I better get paid good money for this. Okay, I got 88 quid for that. Do I have to send it to him now or what? Hey, I need a couple of paint models to spice up a few of my projects. Um, okay, how about this one? As an architect, I require meticulously crafted models and dioramas to enhance my presentations, and I believe that your expertise in diorama creation is a paramount for my projects. Okay, let's go to shop. A large track curve. Or medium track curve. Probably should just put curve in, right? Okay, we're going to buy one of them. A Windsor Cottage. Windsor Cottage and a bedroom tent. Well, not bedroom. <laughs> uh, 
Food and tent one. There we go. I've got what I need. I'm assuming that's upstairs. No, diorama table. Okay, so this is different as well. Diorama build allows you to prepare small quick patterns that you can place on multiple tables as long as you have enough models in your inventory. Choose one or more models from your inventory and position them on a cutting mat and preferred arrangement. Give it a name and save it to the diorama's inventory. Models are not consumed during this design process. Creating a diorama, the utilization occurs only when the diorama is placed on a table or provided to a client as a part of an assessment. All right, well. I'll give her what she wants, what she really, really wants. Where's the medium curve gone? That was the medium curve. Okay. She wants the cottage and the food one tent. Um, I gotta save it. Uh, job one. I don't know. Okay. We've got here. Hello there. We're seeking assistance in cleaning and painting models to fulfill our daughter's passion for trains. Later on, we'd love some help creating some small dioramas for her budding collection. Okay, interesting. Right, let's just accept this first then. So I need an out back fence. Out back fence two. How many of them does she want? Just one. And then she also wants a steel works storage one. I've now got two of them. Now, oh, did they send me the bits? Oh, that might that might be what's happened here. Quite a relaxing game. I just chill and vibe. Obviously, things are going to get harder when we have to start making some big things and we're going to send some stuff to the events. But we need to build the money and the business up first. Because this is one expensive hobby, I can tell you that now. Okay, what was the other thing she wanted? The fence. This fence needs to be... Like a grey. Right, I did this though. Maybe I need to accept it. Outback Fence 2, Steelworks Storage, Painting Models for Engineering Projects. Painting Machine, that's new. Don't really understand what's... Okay, clean the gas station. Well, you've encountered second-hand models inquiring for a task purchase in a the store. They can be cleaned using the model cleaning machine. Select the model entry and press clean. Okay, so it's this uh, gas station. Ah, oh, okay. If I do it myself, it's a lot faster. Okay, I get it.
Uh, <laughs> I want to paint her what she wants. Okay, the colors are set. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about our job, if I'm honest with you. Hang on. It kind of said it wanted me to... Not sure about this job, if I'm honest with you. Let's decline that. But I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, so this seems like it'll be a bigger job. So, we're venturing out to south now to soak up the sunshine in Poggio Renatico in the Kingdom of Italy. Okay. Um... So basically, he wants me to make something that's that kind of. It should be easy enough, right? Shortest, straight track. Let's get another five of them, I suppose. Short, straight. I mean, it's not that we don't have the money, is it? Then we just want track. Okay, we needed 13 of these. Uh, turnout. Okay, three way, three way symmetrical turnout. Let's just get two of them. Medium track curve. Yeah, that's everything they want for their diorama, I believe. Now we're going to go up the stairs. Here it is. So let's get the track down. This isn't too bad because these jobs basically they're giving you what they want and how they roughly want it. The so building the match isn't so bad. Yeah, all these wall pieces are going to be a bit of a pain. Okay, they're curvy ones, so... Uh, no, no such thing as a curvy one. I mean, these can give us good ideas for when we actually do build our own as well. These little dioramas.
Where does he want his choo choo train? He wants over here. Got his little wagon there. There you go, got 1600 quid for that. You know, not bad, not bad. We definitely can't be complaining. Uh, we in the neighbor recently a shock and awe it didn't turn out there was no LFGs around not even a student club how am I supposed to play with my minis now anyways I met someone who got me into this railroad stuff could you prepare a diorama for me so I could get a better look okay so I might need a few things here uh, so we need some curves large track curve let's get a few of them medium track curve so a few of them, but we'll get a few more because we can. And then we need a mana. Hawthorne and mana. There we go. Mana spelt terribly wrong. Okay, so we've got a couple of things here. Um, I think I'll leave it there. So we've seen the basics of the game. Now it's going to be down to you guys. What do you want? Do you want to see me explore, getting further into the game, building more things? Uh, it's very basic here. We're doing mainly dioramas. Obviously, we want to enter the competitions ourselves, which I'm sure that's what one of these would be. Uh, request, help needed, model making, expeditions. Um, I don't know, was there any actually... There is none currently available, so we can't build anything just yet. But let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like bell. And other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.